been in this in a few weeks. I've been, I haven't been able to see a whole lot. In fact, I've been able to nothing. But uh, now I can see a little bit uh, to pique your interest. I can't tell you exactly what this is all to do with. Whatever it is, I can't tell you a damn thing, right? What can I tell you? Um, I'll spend most of the day in various conference calls and communications uh, with some artists from, uh, let's see, I've got to get this right because there's quite a few companies here. Uh, Unreal, uh, uh, Unreal, uh, Tippet Studios, um, Weta Digital, um, what's the other ones again? Pixar, you have to excuse me if I'm, I'm not with it today because I haven't had much sleep. Um, EA Games, um, and there's another big one. Oh, of course, Blizzard. <laughs> yeah, and Blizzard. Um, to do with something very interesting on the horizon that um, I am. Um, I'll put I'll use the wrong word here. I'll blow the whole bloody thing wide open. That I have involvement with strongly. Um, that's actually quite good. That says actually bugger all. But uh, I can't tell you anything just yet. Um, it'll be a little while, maybe a month or so, before I can actually say properly. Maybe a bit sooner. Don't know. Uh, depends how I'm thinking. Obviously, excuse me. I'm, my nose is really cold. When it gets cold, it gets itchy. Cause you see, it is here, right? When I'm when I'm tired, I make really stupid mistakes. I forgot to put the heating on. Leave the heating on downstairs for tonight. Now it doesn't bother me too much because most of the time I'm spent in the workroom on the night time. Um, and it's freezing. I've got a jumper on. Um, when I get cold, my nose gets itchy. I'm not quite sure why, but it always does. There you go. Interesting fact. Weighing its itchy nose. But yeah, it's been interesting. So I've been talking to artists that um, some of some of them I've respected since the you know I very first started in 3D. Um, other ones that have you know grown to you know love the work their work um, since then. Um, and the really weird thing for me, um, I'm trying. I don't. This doesn't sound big head, but normally I get treated like shit, right? <laughs> By um, large sections of the community, um, which is normally, to be honest, the guys at the bottom who aren't doing a hell of a lot of work, right? Spending more time on forums than they are actually working. Um, that's not a rule, but it's a general guideline. You know, people who cause the shit usually the ones who aren't working. Um, and it turns out the guys who are higher up the food chain have a lot of respect for me and it's been a pretty humbling experience to when you see some of these names and they are truly you know massive names much much bigger than uh, my name is at the moment um, who truly have made impacts on the industry as a whole um, when they treat you like you're you know god incarnate which is you have to say look I'm, I'm just a bloke I just do what I do you know um, it doesn't mean that and we better any worse than everybody else because as I've said before there is no better in art there's no best there's no number one it's not like the fucking X factor right there's just different interpretations so you either like something or you don't simple as that but uh, yeah so it's been um, it's been a bit of a head fuck that's the only word, word for it really it's a head fuck um, it's been surprising because there was a couple of these names that I never thought in a million years I would have, you know, be. How would I put again? I would be very careful what I'm saying here. That I would be doing this particular thing that I'm heavily involved with. With. <laughs> I'm sorry for being so crit, but I'll get my balls torn off if I, if I let this out. Um, but yeah, so it's been a busy time. And also, of course, um, when you're in that conference calls and stuff like that all day. And then you work on top of that, and I'm also start, you know, started working on a second book. No, I'm not telling you what it's about. Um, it's secret. Word where are uh, sworn to secrets in this one. It won't be on uh, Amazon until the very last moment. Um, but I've, if you finished it sometime next year, right. um, something a little bit different. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's, it sort of plays with your head, and you don't sleep properly because it's your brain's still taking over, you know, and I'm an insomniac anyway, so, I was in bed an hour last night, and uh, I was on Kane, woke up, had a nightmare, so he comes into mummy and daddy's bedroom, the trouble is, 
I can't sleep with having psoriasis if I get too hot it flares up and it's really bloody itchy and it's a pain in the arse right so normally I end up in his bed when he comes in our bed um, but the trouble is he has this sort of tent thing that goes over his bed it's very difficult to explain it's like a four poster bed but it's a tent and it's only about the, what two foot off the top off the surface of his bed right so I'll never get it in a million years the weight I'm carrying at the moment um, so I had to take this tent down and of course by the time you've done that you're wide awake and you're back to square one again so I went downstairs you know sort of went to the toilet and made a cup of tea and stuff like that you know and stayed at the ceiling for a few hours so I'm not having exactly have a lot of rest I mean I had to go today to the uh, hospital because there was a, a couple of checks and things like that they wanted to do on cat uh, for the pregnancy and stuff and everything's fine so we've got next Monday to go to oh joy that's the one that we know we're going to be sitting there in a room on our own for about two hours but you want to see what time it is it's, it says six minutes I've got my glasses on it would probably be a good idea to put my glasses back on you know because I'll just get a headache it's vanity that is I was actually paranoid that might um, reflect off this lamp up here, which I got from the Auntie Maureen. Because um, a few weeks back, I think I mentioned there was a uh, big family party for a 70th birthday. Now, um, you might think by the sound of it that a 70th birthday party wouldn't be much fun. But I can assure you, when you get all the Robsons in one room, bear in mind that 80% of us play more than one musical instrument. Uh, and we all like a party. It's it's fun, and it was. Um, so, yeah, she was throwing it out, and the lamp I used to have, this lovely one from IKEA, um, kept blowing all the fuses in the house a long time ago when we were at Langley Park, and I just threw it out. And I didn't have a, a nice subdued lamp for night time, because it helps to unwind, you know. So yeah, it's my my lamp. There you go. Um, the house is plastered now, um, that wall there, no you're not seeing it because it's a bloody mess. We're still waiting for lots of plaster dry, apparently it's going to take about a month for this plaster to dry probably. Then I can get around to doing some decorating on that. Also got to decorate the bathroom, because if it doesn't rain tomorrow, bearing in mind today is uh, Monday, um, if it doesn't rain on Tuesday, then they'll put the new, the proper roof on, as opposed to the standby one, stop the leak that we've had since we've got in here. Then I can decorate. Uh, which would be good have the house finally the way I want it apart from the workroom which needs to repaint anyway that's all the time yeah. but um, I finished the uh, models for the Doctor Who thing um, there's a total of one two three four five six characters six characters yeah about six characters I did um, and Although it, I enjoyed knocking out that many characters in a short length of time to prove that I could do it basically, um, it was pretty hairy towards the end of it because the deadline was crazy. And I think they hadn't fully realised the scope of what they were doing and how long it would take to develop the assets because, you know, even taking something to simple, you know, game cinematic quality um, and also trying to maintain a likeness to a person takes a while um, that's, that's what I said before that's my weak area um, it takes me longer to do that than anything else to get a likeness of a particular person I suppose you know do faces all bloody dear but it's got to look like a person and look bang on then that's you know it takes me a bit longer this was all matching existing things from you know years back in the 60s and stuff from tiny little postage stamp size images so there you go um, Right, I'm going to wrap this one up, I'll go on to part two, uh, and I'll catch you on that one.